This is the answer to everything in the universe. Hey guys, my name is Joyce and welcome to my channel, The Project Joy. How are you today? Well, today I came here to talk to you a little bit more about time. I've done a few videos talking about time, but it, it, it is important to keep talking about it because we still don't understand fully what is time. And for those of you that are coming here for the first time, welcome. Go to the other playlists and the other videos and watch all of them so that you can have a better idea of what am I trying to explain here, okay? So when we talk about time, we think that time is a period of where something starts and finishes. Like this movement, for example, we would say that it starts in the moment A and it finishes in the moment B. So time would be the, the, the start of the movement and then the moment that it finishes. But that's not time. For us to understand exactly what time is, we need to understand that time is a collection of frames in space-time. And what those frames are? Those frames are the parallel realities. Each parallel reality has nine dimensions. So time would be the collection of those frames. Each instant of moment is going to be in a different place in space-time, in a different place on the geometry of existence. The first thing that we cannot forget is that time is relative, okay? We have a lot of ways to explain this. There's a lot of ways to explain exactly what is uh, the, relati the relativity of time. But the simplest way to understand it is that time is going to feel different to each and every being, period. Because, for example, we know here in, on Earth that a day has 24 hours and one year has 365 days. But we only have that belief because of the movement that the planet Earth has around the Sun and around itself. That's the only reason why we fix time in a specific pattern. But for example, for another planet on, on the solar system, for example, for the planet Mercury, for example, one day for that planet is going to be completely feel completely different as it is for us as well as a year because the mo the time that it takes to move around itself and the time that it takes to move around the sun it's going to be different from earth and because of that that planet the time on that planet it's going to be felt different what we don't understand is that let's say that this is the sun and this is the planet Earth. After a year, we would have the planet going back to the beginning. But we cannot forget that each and every movement that the planet is having around the Sun, the Sun is also moving in the galaxy. So in the, at the end of one year, the planet is not going to come back to the same place. It's going to come back to another place. It's going to be uh, slightly different, as well as the position of the Sun is also going to be slightly different. And after a few years, the Sun is going to be have been moved a little bit more, as well as each and every year we are going to be moving differently as well. We never go back to the place that where we began, ever. But what we also don't understand is that, because this is quite obvious for everyone that is studying astronomy right now. This is quite obvious for anyone that is in school right now. But we, what we don't understand is that each moment of time where we were, or where we stayed, where we passed, it, it's, it never disappears. It's always there. And even the positions that we are going to have in the future, like 50 years from now, it also already exists. It's not that it's something that it's on the future. It's going to be felt as future because we have the perception of the movement in a different way. But all of the moments, all of the present moments, past, present and future, they are all 
already happening. They are all already there. The only thing that is moving is the perception of the present moment. Because guys, one of the things that I really, really, really insist on this channel is that movement is just an illusion. Movement doesn't exist. The matter itself, it never, ever moves. Nothing is moving around us. The only thing that is moving is our perception. It's the consciousness, it's the energy. The only thing that is moving is the energy, the perception of the present moment. We only live the present moment and all of the other things that you lived in the past and all the things that you are going to live in the future, the bodies that you had in the past and the bodies that you will have in the future, they already exist. And it's not something that it's imagined, it's something that it's physically there already. The only thing that is not there is our consciousness, is our perception of the present moment. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that is going to give us the perception of time. But it's just like everything is just frames, you know? All those frames of realities, all of them, they already exist. They are already there. If we could see everything that is actually around us, if we could see our solar system as it really, really is, that's what we would see. We would see a lot of planets over each other and a lot of suns and a lot of other planets in our solar system in another different parallel realities. Because if we could see everything that is actually happening, that's what we would see. But we only see a present moment we only see a perception of a moment. So what is time? Time is the collection of those frames, the collection of the frames, of the starts of those frames that is going to give us the perception of the present moment. And having that perception of the present moment, we have the combination of present moments to give us the perception of movement, to give us the perception of time. But this is all just frames. It's just nine dimensional frames that are fixed on space time and the only thing that is moving is the perception of each present moment because everything everything in the universe is always moving but what is moving it's not the body it's not the matter it's the perception it's the idea it's the energy the only thing that is moving is the energy, is the consciousness of each and every aspect of our existence. And that's where and when you understand that everything has consciousness. That's also one of the things that I have been talking a lot in this channel, is that everything, absolutely everything has consciousness. Because everything is part of this gigantic organism that is experiencing life in different ways and different perceptions and different densities and different elements and different ways of understanding reality, different ways of perceiving reality. Like this wall, for example, it's perceiving reality, it's perceiving the present moment as something, as well as the air is also perceiving the present moment as something different. And we are perceiving the present moment as something different as well. Because it's just like in a movie. For us to make a movie, we have to put together a bunch of frames to give us the perception of movement. Like we put different kind of frames, like slightly different movements. And then when we put it all together, we have the perception of movement. And that's exactly the same thing that is happening to us. It's exactly the same thing that is happening in the universe. It's just nine dimensional frames. Why do you think that the universe is so big? Because everything that you think it's possible, it's happening. Everything that you think it's impossible to happen, it's also happening. All the futures and all the pasts, they are all happening. And all the presents are also happening. Because even though you're having a specific timeline, you're living a specific situation in your life. There are other realities where you are living 
in this world, in this planet, in this century, but you're having a different life because you made different decisions. And because you made different decisions, your timeline changed. And that's for everything around us. Each and every decision that we make, we create our reality. We create our next reality. And together, we are going to have a collective memory of what we are actually living. But each and every person is like a cell of an organ and that organ is another cell of another organ but it's all happening one side of each other but that to say that time is not what we think it is that time is the perception of the frames of the realities that we are living it's just a perception but it's also the only thing that proves our existence because like i said on, on the videos of the dimensions on the fourth dimension we have time because first we have the expression right on the third dimension we have the expression and then on the fourth dimension we have the experience of the expression so time is just the possibility of experiencing something that we are expressing what would we be if we couldn't experience our expression it would be just an idea we would all be just an idea just a thought but we are not we have time to make us feel like we are actually living time is only here to make us have this perception of reality to have us the illusion of reality but it's just an experience of the expression and it can change depending on what you create because we are living in all of them at the same time we are having living all these parallel realities in the past the present and the future and all the other timelines we are all living that all of them at the same time but here on the third dimension we experience just frame by frame we experience just a present moment after present moment because we are still very limited but once we understand how this is working how time is actually existing then we understand everything else we understand what happens after death we understand why we think we understand why we dream we understand why we get sick we understand how we get healthy we understand absolutely everything from where we came from and what we are doing and where we are going this is the answer to everything in the universe anyway i hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up down here to share this video as much as you can to subscribe and activate the bell so that you can know always when you're going to have a new video okay and yeah that's it um beijo no coração